So the trap out method is a method to remove bees from a void space. So what you're essentially doing is creating a trap that allows the bees to come out of that void space but doesn't actually allow them to go back in. So this is quite effective at reducing the number of bees that are within that void space. And it's done by having a, a nucleus box or, or, or some box that the bees or the person doing the work would hope that those bees would then recolonize instead of the void space they're in. So a nuke box is often used and a cone would be put on the exit point which would then go into that box. The bees that come out, the like foraging bees for an example, would go out foraging, they would come back into that box but they can't go back into the actual hive. So that's the principle and how that works. The problem with doing that is it's not actually removing an established hive or honeycomb that's actually within that void space. So when you've got that box full of bees and you then take that away, there's still all of the residue, the smell, the honey, and the, the root of the problem is actually still in the building. So that's not removed. And that's the biggest problem with a trap out. Often it takes a lot of time to do. It's not something that can be done in a few days. It's often left up for weeks and if not months. People that do this type of work hope that the queen will come out of the colony, the established colony, into that trap out box. It does happen, but it's rare. The queen is on the hive because that's where she wants to be. She's in that void space where she's been laying eggs. She knows it's hers. She's happy with that space and that's where she'll stay. Another problem that can arise from a trap out hive is that bees can then find another exit or entry point in the building. So bees are not silly, they're quite clever. And in a building, there's lots of gaps and crevices, for example, in roof tiles or walls where pipes come out, where they can find another access point into there. So trap out methods are an okay option to reduce the number of bees within that wall space, but it's not really a solution to getting bees removed from a property. So to give you an example, one of the jobs that we went to just last year had someone that had tried this method. They put the box there and what had actually happened is the bees had found about six other entry points into that colony, which then they realized was a lot bigger than what they had anticipated it actually being. So they actually ended up going in from the other side of the roof space where the honeycomb stretched right the way along to the other side of the roof. And the nuke box that collects the bees was actually only full of foraging bees. So when we actually got into cutting that honeycomb and doing the live bee removal, which deals with the root of the problem, we actually found that there was a minimal amount of bees that were actually in that box anyway. 